New details tonight on the breaking news from Cal State Long Beach during a campus wide scare yesterday. Students and teachers barricaded themselves in classrooms. Tonight, Rachel Kim is live in Long Beach with details about the person officers arrested. Rachel. Crystal, Cal State Long Beach police say with the reality of school shootings these days, they take threats like this very seriously. They said today they arrested the real person who was behind the lockdown here yesterday. On the Cal State Long Beach campus Tuesday night, many were shocked to hear that a male student had been arrested for accessing a female student's email account and sending out an email threatening violence against the school. It was threat to, to shoot up the campus, so a threat of violence. Cal State Long Beach police say on Monday afternoon, they were forwarded an email with this threat. They sent out an alert to students to shelter in place or to stay away if they weren't already on campus. This is video posted on social media showing what was going on in classrooms during the temporary lockdown. So that was, in fact, my sister. They went into full lockdown table up against the door, as many just heavy objects up against as they could get, and then hiding in a corner of the room out of sight. While students were sheltering in place, police say they tracked down the owner of the email address from where the threat was sent. But investigators soon determined she wasn't the one who sent it. She was released, and investigators later questioned a male student. During the interview, uh, confessed to using the female's um, email address to send the threatening email to the uh, university. Oh, I don't know if he knew her or he had something against her or he you know his intentions were you know bad towards her if she was just somebody he picked up at random police arrested 18 year old Pratik Devolpali and investigators say the female student did not know him they're still trying to figure out a motive Deval Pelli is being held on a $50,000 bail, and investigators plan to ask the DA's office to charge him with two felonies. Reporting live tonight in Long Beach, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.